Sun and Pisces rising. Welcome to your weekly astrological reading for January 15th through January 21st. Hi, I'm Moon Girl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium and I read based on real time astrology. So make sure you stay to the end of the video where you can get that psychic reading. So let's dive into the astrology. Okay, Pisces, Sun and rising. We have Mercury in Capricorn, okay, making a harmonious flow to Jupiter in Taurus. Let's find out exactly what that means for you. So Mercury in Capricorn is going to be in the 11th house. And this is going to be some communication that's going to be coming from somebody higher up. So either your boss, administration, some kind of school or something there that's going to open up something for you very personally. Okay. Now Jupiter is going to be in the third house of communication in the sixth degree of Virgo. So yes, you are waiting for this AOK, -okay, this, this go green light from somebody else higher up in a administration sense to allow you this opportunity to do something. And it looks like it's going to be a good go. Now we have Venus in Sagittarius making a square to Neptune in Pisces. Now you're in Pisces. So this is going to be a heavy week that's happening starting midweek, right? We have that energy in Mercury, January 18th. Then the following day, you're going to see something else kind of kicking up. Now, Venus is going to be traveling through your 10th house of career and job and things of public self. Now, this is a critical point. Very, very critical. Uh, this is an energy where you can't get this day back. Okay, Pisces. So I want you to come back and particularly be very cautious when it comes to this, because Neptune is going to be guiding you all week of like, energy and messages of what might be happening in the future. Okay. Now it's going to be a little confusing because you're not too sure if you should trust it, if you should just like blow it off. But I'm here to tell you, make sure that you trust your intuition because Neptune is in Pisces, but it's in the first house. So you are getting dreams and things of direct that can really directly change your life. Right? So from now, through Saturday, you're going to be dreaming of things that could happen, sort of happen. And when you're in the moment, it's going to feel like deja vu. Make sure you pay attention. Okay. Now the sun is going to enter Aquarius on Saturday and as well as change signs for Pluto. This is going to be huge energy for Pisces. I want you to make sure that you stay positive in this energy. You're going to be a little overstimulated when it comes from all of these outside resources, but we'll get to that a little bit more in a separate reading for Pluto in Aquarius. Nonetheless, let's dive into your psychic reading. Welcome Pisces Sun and Pisces Rising to your weekly psychic tarot card reading for January 15th through the 21st. Now, I hope you enjoyed your astrology reading. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. So we're gonna talk a little bit more fine detail about this week, about these communications. Some quick thinking is going to be required and we're gonna talk about what you got to be honest about, where you got to assert yourself, and how you can express yourself. So, if you would like to get a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website, moongirltarot.com, to set up an online session. Or if you're located here in Colorado, you can meet me here in person. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at your overall vibe, the aura, the energy of this week and the energy that you probably need to protect, right? So there's gonna be some communications coming through. There's gonna be something that you're going to have to do. Quick thinking, action is required, and it's gonna start off that midweek. Okay, that wants to come out. Okay, so the, the vibe for the week, the aura of the energy is anxiety. So Pisces, you're a mutable sign, and Capricorn is in Mercury, which is not very comfortable. So this makes sense. Uh, the harsh truths that you had to deal with last week. And if anything, this is an ideal time to learn something. And the universe is sending you lessons, you know, throughout this week. And are you going to apply those changes? So let's dive in a little bit deeper and find out with your work and finance. Okay. What are you worried about Pisces, right? Pisces sun and Pisces rising. Okay. So immediately when it comes to work, your earth sector, uh, I got the two of cups reverse and I have the four of pentacles reverse. So in this energy and in this instant, when it comes to work, it's also a relationship. When it comes to finance, that's also a relationship as well. And you're not happy with this energy. And if anything, you want a better relationship with this work, with this finance. And you, 
you've been spending, you want to spend more, you want more lavish things, and you realize that that place of work, the place of business is not going to give it to you. I really feel if anything, you are going to be changing jobs. If you're a student, you might be changing careers. It's a different passion in that sense of your public sector, of your public life. And it's removing itself, you know, emotionally speaking and, you know, physically speaking from away from that. And you want to go towards something, something of better value, something that you don't have to save so much money. Uh, you want to spend more money. Of course, you're going to save, but you want to have a different higher level of wealth right and you're worried about it you're worried about if this job or this relationship and how you're producing money is going to produce longevity i see that you have a different plan here pisces and throughout the week you're going to be able to create these opportunities here for you okay so when it comes to air when it comes to those communications right what is gonna make you all worried or what's something that you're getting your head up all in? Okay, so we have the high priestess reverse and another two right on top of each other. So this really is about everything, love, okay? This is your life. You are changing your life completely. Um, the communications to yourself, the truth to yourself. There was a truth, there was a secret, a secret that you have. Pisces, okay, that you held on to, and it could be a small secret, secret that you felt like, hey, nobody really needs to know this, it's good, but it builds up over time, or you held on to something and it turned into something bigger. Either way, you're taking the responsibility for it, okay, that's the communication you're communicating out, but it does involve a relationship, it does involve that relationship with yourself, okay. Let's see what else you're communicating, and that's probably why you're worried, because you're wondering if this, you know, because you can apologize, you can be sorry, but it's always, you know, the other person, right? You can't control those actions. So here we have that fire-like energy, Pisces. We have that passion. We have the king of wands upright, and it is very aggressive. So there is something here that has happened that you're trying to, like, patch things up. You're trying to fix things. You're trying to explain things. You're trying to not necessarily justify the lies or justify why you kept the secrets or why that energy was kept from you, but you're really trying to rearrange this energy and have it more direct. Now, Venus is in Sagittarius that is offering that higher level of love, the higher level of thinking, but you're putting a lot of that people pleasing into somebody else's hands. So Neptune is in your sign that is creating a square now, when you go back to your astrology reading, you're going to understand that it's all about yourself and where you place yourself and the choices that you make, Pisces, okay? All right, now let's go into your water, your emotions, your intuition, things that, you know, that are kind of like, you need to trust yourself. There's a lot of it here. There's a lot of it that's already happening behind the scenes. You're just kind of deciding what you're going to do in the physical sense okay so we have the strength card reverse now notice we have every reverse card at the very top and in that sense it means that you are acknowledging your emotions and you're not feeling so great you're not expressing yourself also that's another thing pisces is that you are i'm going to validate your feelings you're not feeling the best you haven't had the best few weeks you had a rough start to the year but you're also not doing anything about it right there's also something here a lot of stress pressure you're not able to express yourself and if you have children there's some stress that's coming from them as well they're not able to express themselves you're not able to express how you truly feel to the outward world so that explains that why there's so much like jilted anxiety or jilted energy that's coming from you especially emotionally let's see what else 